right, hello there. All right, so today we're gonna go over homework number 14 for Tuesday. All right, so it's the same kind of questions as last night. So we're gonna do that again. Now, this time I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try to find one where there's a GCF that can go, that we can use, okay? Because yesterday I didn't find it. All right, let's see, 12 and 32. Yeah, all right, 12 and 32. Okay, all right. Not very good. But, all right, 12 and 32, right? 12 shaded parts, 32 total. Try that. What's the common factor? Now, here I'm gonna use the GCF. So instead of using two, since these are both even, I'm gonna use four. Because four can go into both uh, 12 and 32, right? I'm gonna put four in. And then for the next question, we'll, you know, not, we'll use the non GCF method. How about that? All right, so here we got three eight, and that's it. That's simplified. Okay. That's it. Nothing more to do. All right, don't forget to submit the answer at the bottom here. And then one last one. All right, we'll do one where you can just pare it down. Yeah, let's do this one. All right, so this one's four shaded parts out of 20. All right, so we do by both. I'm not gonna use four, which is the GCF. I'm gonna use two instead, okay? So and they don't mind, all right? And as I told you in class, I don't mind either, okay? I don't think we should have to solve it only using one method. All right, two tens, right? Reduce two tens by the common factor, which is two. Now, I think the reason why the homework might take a little longer is you're waiting for this thing to transpire. Right? So simplify fraction, divide both sides by up the numerator and denominator by two, we get one fifth. And submit. And there you have it. Okay, all right, so that's it. All right, I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. OMG, that was so good.